tonight is Halloween and one family they're trying to celebrate without the man who year after year had brought them together. That's right. In March, Rick Saki passed away in a tragic car accident, but his family determined to keep his tradition alive. Tonight, Chase Moffat takes us through the garage of terror. That, I don't like dolls. I really don't. Welcome to the graveyard! <laughs> it's clear to see from my reaction right from the start, the Garage of Terror had me on edge. Through the graveyard and into the darkness, wondering what awaits. the switch! Oh no! As the sparks fly, hairs stand on end. Touch him, make sure he's dead. It's easy to forget once the adrenaline takes hold, but this is a homemade creation. It was started nearly two decades ago by this man, Rick Saki. In most families, it's Christmas or Thanksgiving. In our family, it was Halloween. That was our big holiday. So this is the first big hump to get through. Rick passed away in March. The family decided to continue the tradition of hosting the haunted fun during Halloween this year. And this was, uh, this was Grandpa Rick's last year. This was his big, uh, what he built last year. He was so proud of this. Just that voice you hear is Rick's daughter, Christy. She explains room by room how Rick thought out each new attraction, each detail planned. Then we have the rocking granny room here. But remember, this is something the family puts on in their garage in Valley you know for the neighborhood. So why not charge a few bucks? Dad would say, I'm not charging for these kids' friends to come through the haunted garage, you know? And then I think my mom said, well, why don't we just ask for a can of food? And take a look at last night's haul of those canned food donations. In the end, that's what it's always been about for the family, especially Rick, the ringleader of the fun. To put on a good haunt each year, give back to those in need, all the while scaring a few people along the way, even this reporter. Nope, you're, Please! Nope! Come back! I'm sorry! Come Gotta back. leave you! Yeah, I'm pretty lucky to get out of there safe and okay tonight. In fact, you know, I told the family I've paid good money for a lot less. They did a great job. In fact, tonight marks 17 years the Seiki family's been putting on the Garage of Terror. In fact, tomorrow they'll have the Boy Scouts in to help them sort through all their canned food donations and get them dropped off to the food pantry. Reporting live, I'm Chase Moffat, WOWT 6 News. You are quite the trooper, Chase.